I love auditions. Mm. You know, I like. Do you still audition? Yes, I auditioned mm. for Breath of Life. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, we did that. Oh, okay. BB Shere didn't know who I was. Four months later, he called me that BB Shere, you audition. I'm like, me, audition for BB Shere. That's not true. to another interesting episode of uh, It's a Wrap. And like you normally say, when we take this start conversation outside the studio, you know that's very important. And uh, yeah, I, I'm here today at uh, Chimeze's um, environment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, first off, I'm here with the award-winning Chimeze Imo. Um, for those who follow the EMVCAs, you know that he won the Trailblazer Award at EMVCAs, and uh, it's good to have you here. Thank you so much How's for going, coming around. <laughs> <laughs> now, this this is not an interview interview, so I don't right. want to make it an interview. I want to make it a conversation. So feel free to just, you know, relax. Yeah. Right. Now, I know that for the better part of this conversation, you might try to be humble about some of the questions I will ask you. <laughs> but I'm just, a, I'm just a guy that I don't know how to mince my words. Right. So I say right. things the way it is. Right. Right. And I'm a lover of Nollywood, and I've, I've, been, I've been watching films for a long time. And I really want to see it grow. Thank and you. I think you're a testament that um, there's hope, you get me, particularly for actors. Yes. <laughs> right. Because I know there's a lot of challenges that we're right. facing. There's the right. story part, there's the financial part, and there's the acting part. Right. So I think for acting, and I'm not saying this to make you feel happy or to make you feel good. I think you're a very good actor. Thank and I you. think you're, you're one of the very few new era actors, if I can use that word, new era, you know what I'm saying? Yes. That are sunk in the characters they play. Right. I've seen a number of actors that I feel should not be on camera in the first place. <laughs> and I mean, I was having a conversation with Hilda Dokubo, I'm sure you know her. Yes. Hilda mentioned that um, I, she thinks one of the problems with the actors now are the producers. They make the actors feel too special. Do you, do you think so? Um, I, <laughs> I mean, you're an actor, so should you be, should you be made it, to feel it, special? It, it, it's an angle and um, filmmaking, it's a collaboration, you know. Um, I don't know if making someone feel so special, it's not like a bad thing. It just depends on how you go about it. But I do get what she means, mm. you know, especially the non-actors, if you get what I mean. I think that's, like that's the angle she was, she's coming from. <laughs> so, so, so you agree that you had non-actors in Nollywood that actually oh, Of actors. course, everywhere. Right, great. Yes. Now, um, first, I think I should have said this first. Congratulations on your award again. Thank you. I think it was well-deserved. And I mean, if you'd ask me, people have been asking me since the um, results came out. I said, I thought you had two awards at the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I thought you did. And I thought that um, at most, at most, mm. you should have gotten a nomination in that other category. Right. At most, even if you didn't get that award, right. at most. But then I, I would not understand the processes of the MVCAs. But at least to a lot of people, they're appreciative that you were awarded the Trailblazer Award. Yes. It means that people, everybody, everyone is seeing what Chimeza Imo is doing. Um, now, I, 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 I want to ask you these questions now. What is your process? Because I see how you get into each character and I see how you define depth. Like, you're very, you're an emotional actor. I could say that. I mean, I stand to be corrected. If I'm yeah. wrong, I'm telling you, right? <laughs> I, yeah, I think right, you're an right. emotional actor. I yeah. think you're one that depicts emotions right. very well compared to some other actors in your, in your space. Tell me, what is your process? Um, for me, it's about reacting and not, not acting. So okay. when I am presented with a character, I ask the question, who is he? Mm. So I do well with those information and I try to be that person. Mm. So I do not try to act. I think okay. that's where I think people get it wrong when you're just trying to shine in a scene. You want to be loud in a scene. You know, it's about who is this character? For yeah. example, I asked him, um, when we were about to film Breath of Life, I asked B.B. Shashire who Elijah was. Mm. He sent me some answers, and I gave him some other answers that I thought he was. Mm. He marked some good and marked some bad, and I made use of that information, and I just tried to be mm. Elijah. So everything is about what would Elijah do? Having this information, he's, a, mm. he's an orphan, grew up in an orphanage, went to this school, he's from a Macquarie State, what would he do in this situation? Mm. You know, so. Mm. That's basically my process. So it's more about reacting and not acting. Reacting, yes. I, I think you should probably do a lecture, lecture for some of the <laughs> younglings. Because, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a conversation we'll probably have off camera. But, right. you know, so now you talked about um, um, conversing with B.B. Sashore when you were about to play the role, Elijah in Breath of Life. And you also talked about um, him giving you 
yeah. the idea of who he thinks Elijah is, yeah. and he also responded back. Now, let's let's move a bit to this. Do you think that actors should actually be or have a say in the directing process of a film? Um, I think I think it's okay before filming starts. It's okay, okay to you should have conversations with with your director. Okay, you know, your director should be your your. Because he's the captain of, of the ship mm. and you don't want to capsize as an actor. Mm. And the director has that power to either make you look bad or look good. Mm. You're, you have to, tr you have to you're, you're trusting someone else with your entire career. That's, yeah. what, that's what it means. Mm. So if you have questions, if you have um, concerns, yeah. it's always good to have that you know, said before filming starts because mm. it becomes um, intrusive when you, know, you begin to give notes while mm. filming you're not yeah. the director you yeah. get what i mean yeah. so it's good to have an understanding before you go on set mm. you know yeah and, and the second one about actors becoming directors i think it i i have been made to believe that actors make the best directors i've been i've been told that mm. but I, I also know some actors that do not want to be uh, directors but mm. i i think actors make the Hmm. It's, <laughs> I feel I feel actors should make the best directors. I feel uh, actors should uh, make because they they understand what it is like to be an actor and they understand what it looks, what it is like to be directed. Mm. So they have understanding on both ends. So I think they should make the best directors. So would would you are you considering the path maybe later 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 in the future? Would you want to direct your own film or direct a film? I'm very open minded to exploring you know different areas of um, filmmaking. So. Mm. Yes, that would be interesting to do yeah, sometime. Great. I mean, I like to see it. I like to see it. I've seen, I've seen Chimeza the actor. It would be nice to see Chimeza the director. But now let's talk about picking films, right? right? So I've seen a number of films in Nollywood and I feel actors should know when to say no. Right. I understand the economic factor and when people are trying to make money. Yes. So, you know, when you're trying to make money, you're not going to turn down yeah. scripts, right? But then I've seen actors who pick well, who pick yeah. scripts and be like, I cannot depict this. Not that right. I cannot, right. but it sort of maybe doesn't flow with my brand or it doesn't, I'm not comfortable with this. Right. right. Now, do you pick scripts? Have you, have you, do you pick scripts here? Um, yes, I do pick scripts. So what are your, first question, yeah. yeah. So what are your factors, your measures to pick in a script that, okay, this is what I want to work with? My first um, factors and, and my first factor and measure is the director's commitment to the job. Mm. I'm really drawn to when the director is fully involved. You know, I've worked on set where directors are just, mm, let's just do this and go home. Uh -huh. And it, that energy sort of rubs on every other person. Mm. It's all about what, what is the next set? I want to get out of here, you know. But when I see um, a director fully involved, making the call, speaking my call, discussing with me and mm. seeing how we can make it work, it, it, it melts my heart and I want mm. to give it, give it my all, mm. you know, and, and also a great story would, I would, would always buy me over any day mm. and a lot of money as well. <laughs> That came out last. I thought you were going to put it first. Okay. Oh, it's in no particular order. Okay, okay, yes. okay, okay. So the money could be first. Depends. Yes, <laughs> yes, they're all together. <laughs> okay, now mm. talking about story, um, we would agree that there are some very bad stories in Nollywood. Right. We would agree. I mean, I would agree. As it is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, as it is everywhere. <laughs> yeah. You know, but I mean, I, I think the reason why I'm particular about Nollywood is because we are in Nollywood. Right. I, I can't say so much about Hollywood. I've seen a lot of bad stories from Hollywood, even mm. Bollywood and even the other film industries, but I could talk about Nigeria because this is where I feel with the old space that we have, we can speak a narrative yeah. and some persons can hear the narrative and maybe make adjustments, right? Yes. Now talking about stories, right? What would you say is the easiest stories to play for you? Now I'm going to ask this, I'm asking this yeah. because there's some actors where they give you a, a, a character it is, it is not so much of a work to depict the character because it's not different from who you are as a person. Right. Right. And there's some work that you do that you have to go deep into depicting. Like it, it needs some extra lessons, some extra work, extra effort yeah. to depict this certain character. That's why I'm asking the story. So what is, I, I could easily guess mm. if you ask me. That oh, you, mean, you mean like a genre? Yeah, of yeah, yeah, like genre, yeah. It's actually comedy. Comedy. So let me tell you Honestly, guys something. Honestly, you took me by show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I started with comedy. I didn't start doing drama. Oh. 90, 90 Gogoro, Kasala. Yeah, Kasala. I started with comedy and 
Nimbe sort of turned that around. Yeah, Nimbe did. And I, I wasn't supposed to even be Nimbe. I was supposed to be another character. I was oh. auditioned for another character. We got on set and a story for another day. <laughs> and I had to be, play an emotional mm. part, you know, mm. that sort of did so well. And people people saw it, saw me in Nimbe and thought, oh, he's such an emotional actor. Let's, yeah. you know, so I sort of found that, that part of my, um, that part of my, that part of me mm. playing Nimbe, and I'm like, oh, okay, it's working. But one one genre I love, and I think I wouldn't say it's easy. Acting is not easy. Because mm. if you say it's easy, it means everybody can act, and that's not true. True. I hear people say anyone can act. Everybody cannot act. Right. It's not. It's not true. I agree with you. It's like saying everyone can 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 um can can do plastic surgery or something. It's not true. Mm. Mm. You know. So um, I think comedy comes quite easy mm. for me. But I I don't um. I don't want to use the word easy, you yeah. know, because you have to still make your findings because you don't you don't want to be slapstick. You don't mm. want to come out repetitive. Yeah, you know, you want yeah. to bring something new. I mean, that's how I am. Mm. I always want to bring something new to, to whatever um, project I'm on, mm. you know, to be seen differently, mm. to take Chimeze Emo out of the character as much as I possibly can. Mm. Not completely. It's not yeah. possible to completely take him out, but as much as I can. Uh, okay. So, so for you, it's comedy. Yeah, but um, now on the on, on the contrast, you've done more dramas. Yes, than comedy. Yes. So would you say that uh, because now this will lead me to my next question, which is about stereotyping in the right. industry, right? Now it's easy for a director to see you you're displaying Nimba, right, and be like, nah, this guy is good. Like this guy lets his emotions out and he depicts and want to give you similar roles, right. and you keep getting similar roles where you needed to be, you know, to maybe show people to to cry, right, you know, to to show stuff compared to what you say you love to do, yeah. which is comedy, right? Now, talking about stereotypes, it's a thing in Hollywood. And maybe a thing in Hollywood, but right. it's more dominant right. in Hollywood. Yeah. Everybody. I mean, you know... I mean, it's local, everywhere. Right? Kevin Hart well, is artistic. Yeah, as a, I mean, right. even, if it, even, if it, even if it's an action film, yes. it tries to infuse yes. some yes. elements of comedy yeah. in it. But Nigeria, it's... I feel like it's on stereotypes because right. once they know that you're good at a particular thing, yeah. they want to put you there. Right. And it's difficult for them to take you out of here and put you somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. Now, how are you as an actor trying to defy that odd? Because, you know, I see some actors and then I'd be like, if they're not careful, yes. they'll be, keep playing the same roles every mm. time. And it doesn't help them as an actor. Yeah. It doesn't help people say how versatile you are as an actor. So how are you breaking, intentionally breaking or, or trying to defy that odd? First of all, I, I am, I'm of the opinion that um, stereotyping is not really a bad thing, mm, okay. especially in... Um, in, in in the movie scene okay. because it only means that you're really good at something and mm. everyone can tell yeah and it's okay to be good at one thing absolutely you know? but um it's there's so much an, an actor ha um, have that you don't want to be kept in a box mm. you know so sometimes breaking out would require you turning down a lot of roles mm. staying home without doing anything and waiting yeah. for someone who would see you for something else mm. you know like you said i i um i i felt bored at some point of mm. doing drama you know and emotion roles i felt mm. bored i'm like you know what i want to do a rom-com mm. so i had to produce a rom-com oh yeah <laughs> to do a rom-com strawberry chini yeah. you know it's going yeah. to um ss film festival oh, you know yes congrats on that. thank you yeah. <laughs> you know so sometimes it takes you just bringing yourself out to do something else for people to see okay you know what guys i i, I appreciate you yeah but <laughs> Can we just take it easy, you know, yeah. you know, with the credit? And sometimes even when you get those stereotyped roles, you can yeah. have conversations to tweak it a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. for example, um, th there was uh, there was a script that, that I had and it was supposed to be emotional. And I said, OK, can I be emotional without crying? Mm -hmm. You know, so I didn't shed a tear in that film. Um, yes, I'm like there are other ways you could be emotional without shedding yeah, a tear. Yeah. So I had a conversation like I'm not going to shed a tear in this film, but I'm still going to try to pass the emotion that you want. Mm, mm. But, um, by the way, I saw I saw a monologue you did a long time ago, very long time where you were I think in the forest and you were oh yeah it's a long time. That's, Psalm twenty three. Yeah, yeah, Psalm twenty three. Yeah, that's it. I saw it. I was like, wow, like this is really this is really good and. Um, yeah, this is really good. But yeah, I just it just came to mind when you were talking. So now um, let's let's talk about this. I, I want I want to talk about the actors in this era, the new actors, right? The new age actors. I don't know if you're a new age actor. When did you start acting? Like your first feature film or first major breakout? First major breakout has yeah. to be 
ni MTV Sugar yeah just oh sugar okay MTV sugar, okay yeah. MTV just sugar. right about the same year i did new mail was Nimbra. i did sugar okay it's okay about 4 or 5 4 or 5 years yeah. okay so so, so so you're not really you're not really young in young game but then yeah. you're in the <laughs> <Yeah>. yes <laughs> yeah. all right safe to say that so because i'm so invested in the future of nollywood right. as not, a, not not as an actor i i did some acting in the past i thought it was bad <laughs> so i just left that space okay. i went behind the scenes i felt it was better behind the scenes to coordinate and see how things are going mm. and i recently did a producing thing where um i worked with some of some of your colleagues right uh you know and my my feedback was that as a producer my feedback was this is what i think generally now i might be wrong maybe you can convince me otherwise is i think a larger percentage of this new age actors are not exactly about the art right. or the craft right. they're more excited about the fame that comes with it than the job itself do you what do you think i mean from your own perspective as an actor Yeah, do you do you do you think that this is the case or yeah. At least I said I said some not not right. all. Yeah, some. Right. Um just like every other part of the world, people people get into the industry for different reasons. Mm. You know, I mean it everybody can cannot be great. Yeah. at something. Yeah. You always have those who are maybe better than others or mm. you know or not on the same level with With, with with others mm. and like you said people come into the industry for different reasons some yeah. for fame some for the art mm. you know some just to climb the ladder to get to some other you know yeah. um, this thing so yeah. i think it's a mix of everything and we we, we need that mix somehow i guess <laughs> we kind of just mm. need that mix I, i i guess i guess i'm not sure i can like i, I can only speak for myself yeah. because um I do not know about anybody else. Mm. I don't know. I really do not know what's happening. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <sighs> Wait. Let, let, let me. Let me. Right. Let me. Let me. Let me calm it down a bit. Yes. Tell me. What would you say is your best? Fr- well, I, maybe aside size Genevieve. Yeah. Because I feel like you guys are really close. Yeah. Who would you say is your? I mean, the males now. Who would you say you're closer to in this new? It, I the mean, the like, male. Yeah, the male. Of yeah. course, my Casala brothers. Those are my. Those are my guys. Any day, any Your names. Um, Tommy Watigbe, yeah, Mike Afalari, okay. okay. Emeka Wangorocha. Okay, I just wanted to mention you. Yes, <laughs> so those are my guys. guys. <laughs> any day, any time, and I think everybody knows. You know, we started. You know, together. did MTV Sugar together, Casala uh, together. So we always try to be better. Mm. You know, um, help ourselves to grow because mm. there's always room for. for growth you know mm. so it's all about growth it's no it's not competition or anything mm. so then I, i i was going to pick you on your amvca speech right right it was short straight yeah. to the point and i think it was a lot of motivation for the younger ones who don't know their left from their right as far as this industry is concerned yeah and the last thing you said is i'm an actor let's get back to work yeah right now did you did you plan to say that before I mean, there was no way I would have planned to say that. Did I, you, it, did you it, even it, know you were getting that word? I haven't. That's that's it. Came I, as a show. Yes, <laughs> you know because um, when when my bio was being read, you know, yeah. they read the bio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. I was like, ah, was, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. So it got to the middle, and that's where it it sank. I'm uh, like, oh no, yeah. this is happening. And I remember bowing my head on my seat. I was just weeping, you know. Mm. and Olumide Oro my guy who yeah. was next to me tried to I couldn't stand yeah. you know that was why there was a delay before I went to get a stage he picked me up and I went stage I didn't know all the thing I didn't know what I was saying until I watched the clip yeah I'm like oh this go-. and Me I realized too. that I was cry I was yeah. ugly crying <laughs> like this is not how I wanted my speech to be I thought yeah. that whenever I win an award I'm going to be from pre- proper speak a lot of grammar yeah. you know and I'm here cry like a homeless child <laughs> you know but I was just overwhelmed with a lot of emotions because I didn't see it coming and it felt so it felt so um good to be seen mm. you know and I just and I just thought it was the um best time to encourage every actor out there young mm. or upcoming or whatever it is whatever you want to place yourself as an actor you're, st- mm. you're still an actor because um I was there or still there mm. you know you're one audition away from mm. your big break because I've heard um actors say um link me up link me up but you don't want to go for audition mm. I don't who is link you up to what mm. show that you you should be linked up I don't yeah, know you yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, show that you can act to get all the knows you possibly can yeah. get better come back you know I think people just want to from here to there you know mm. you know and i just wanted to encourage them that you 
keep auditioning. It's okay. Mm. I I've been auditioning. I still I love auditions. Mm. You know, I like. Do you still audition? Yes, I auditioned mm. for Breath of Life. Oh okay. Ah uh, yes. Oh you did that. Oh okay. I did now, for, I now, mean, now I know. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. I, I mean, BB sure didn't know who I was. I oh. sure I didn't even know who he was. I did, I knew the name. I didn't know the face. Yeah. In fact, after the audition, four months later, he called me. That Bibi Shashire, you audition. I'm like, me, audition Bibi Shashire. That's not true. We were literally arguing on the phone. He had to tell me the scene I played in the audition for me to remember, oh my God. Oh, that's it. it was the man that sat across the table at the because I didn't know what it was for. Oh, you know, I was just invited to come for, for, for a reading and I went. And I love to audition. I still audition. Mm -hmm. As an actor, you should love audition. The moment you start hating audition and do not want to be auditioned, I think you're getting so comfortable. You know, because even the, I think even the bigger actors in Hollywood, they still go for readings, they go for the screen yeah, tests. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay, it's okay to, um, because auditions challenge you. Mm. And when you stop auditioning, when you just start, I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's never wrecking auditioning. It's, yeah. it's one of the worst things, get, getting a no, or getting in front of um, some people and losing all your lines and, and whatever. And that is also because most of our casting directors here, um, I think we also need to do better. We don't know how to make people comfortable and warm. You know, they just, just a bunch you, they of straight faces. You know. They're looking at you like they're about to stab you. And that line you've been writing for three weeks just flies and you have a bad audition, you know. Uh, so it's not usually the most, you know, it's not the best experience. So I get when actors do not like it, but it's, it's a test of, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a form of reality check. Mm. Yeah, go back. You're losing, you're losing touch. So I tell myself most times, mm. she said audition was horrible. You need to go back and, you know, mm. yeah. I think it's even one that you know when an audition is not good and when an audition is good enough. You yeah. know, because you mentioned you've done some and you feel like now nah, you didn't do your best. You know, so that's one thing that most people don't know. Everyone feels like every audition, you're killing it. Mm. But then uh, the elements of killing it, in quotes, right. you might not meet all of them. Right. Right. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. I, I really want to see you and, you know, Bjorn Stevens, have you, right. have you heard of her? Right. Work I really her, want to see, right? you worked together a number sister, of times. Sister, yeah. I, that sister, yeah. I, then I want to see you all do a film again. Right. Same thing I said when I, because I do a lot of reviews on my page. Right. And I'm so, I'm, I'm one of the few guys that would say my mind when right. I, about films. That's, right? that, that's good. And, and I always tell people, I recently had, a, had an interview with Moses of, oh, uh, yeah. Right. On, on It's a Wrap. And he talked about my show and he said, oh, yeah, people should actually get criti criticism or cri get critiqued, yes, right? That's, yes, that's not a bad thing. Is, yes. But yes. Um, I want to ask you as an actor, because I've done some reviews, mentioned some names, right. said my heart, what I thought yeah. about the performance, and some feedback has gotten. People have come back to say, oh, how can you say that about this person's crap? And, and the only reason I give, even though it might sound very cheesy, is... If I'm gonna take three thousand to go to the cinema to watch your film, right. I should be able to give feedback on right. the film. If I buy a product, regardless of yeah. the amount, right. I should be able to say what I think about it. I might not be a professional, yeah. but in this case, I know what I'm talking about. But I might mm -hmm. not be a professional. Mm -hmm. What do you think about critics in the industry? And do you think, genuinely, do you think they we need this set of people in the industry to sort of maybe check? Right. The producers, the directors, the actors, the scriptwriters, everybody, to be sure that they stay on their toes when they're working. I think being critic is very important for every creative. Mm. I think in other part of the world, people pay to be criticized. Mm. People pay people watch my stuff and tell me what you think. Absolutely. Because you cannot be all up in your bubble and thinking you've made a great film. Mm. That is what you think. Mm. Is that what you think? Is that what I think? I'm, I'm open to my opinion. If I, if I say, I, I didn't like this, you know, it's because I didn't like it. It's because the audience don't like something. They would say it. Yeah. And I think we don't have um, a good um, critiquing acceptance. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> we don't know how to take criticism well yeah, in yeah, this part of the world. Yeah, yeah. It's always feel like attack. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. maybe because a lot of um, critics do not know how to criticize. Yeah. Maybe that it. Some yeah. people just come and they attack. You yeah. know, you have to tell us what you don't like and why you don't like, mm. you know. Maybe we could tell, oh, okay, that might be okay. Like, like give sense. metrics. If this person yes. is a bad actor, why do you think why this do you person think is a bad, it's actor? bad actor? Compare the films this person has done. Because yes. cause I, I think if, 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 if you've done a number of films and I thought Bread of Life was great, yeah. and I come out and say Chimeze did an amazing job of Bread of Life, and you do another job, and I thought it wasn't too great, right. 
I should be able to come out yes. to also say, oh, this wasn't, you know, I know Chimese could have done better, but this one, it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't there. But, you know, like you said, a lot of people see it as an attack. Yes. And it's it's not problematic for us who talk about it mm -hmm. because I blocked my yes to all those yeah. things a long time mm. ago. So regardless of whatever you say, the job must go on. Yes. And the job is because like Moses, Moses, Mr. Moses told me that it is needed. Yes. And with the way the industry is going, because we need to cross, yes. we need to cross yes. over. Yes. We need to cross over. Yes. The music is gone. Yes. Fashion is gone. Yes. A lot of the other verticals have gone. Right. The movies need to go. Yes. And um, talking about the movies crossing, we, we still bring back to the Oscars thing. Yeah. Three years in a row, we still don't have an Oscar representation, a movie representation in the Oscars. Yeah. You know, you're asking, what is the problem? What is the challenge? What is going on? Mm -hmm. Now, this is where the conversations will come in, where people need to listen to what people think about the film right. and to see if we're growing. Because yes. I think we're growing. By yes. the way, I think Bread of Life, I told someone that Bread of Life is a template for growth in Nigeria. And I'm not saying that because you're here or because... Yeah. I love the film. I'm saying that because I saw Bird of Life and I was stunned. Right. More so that I was shot in Ibado. Yes. Also, I was like, how did this happen? <laughs> and before then, I, I mean, so before then, I knew B.B. Shashore from God Calling, from Banana Island, Banana Island, Ghost, Island yeah. Ghost. And I knew, or I know that he's a very intentional director. Yeah. He doesn't do a lot of films. Yeah. But he, the ones he does, he sends a message. He's a message-driven yeah. director. Yeah. Right. And I'm going to ask you about Bread of Life. Has that been the most challenging role you've ever played in your actor career? <laughs> That's so hard. I know to Nimbe say. was also challenging because I saw Nimbe and I was like, mm -hmm. wow. But Breath of Life, tell me, was it the most challenging you've played so far? First of all, I am I am I'm a sucker for a good challenge. I yeah. mean, if it's not challenging. <sighs> It's boring. Yeah. Challenging with a lot of money with it, please. That's not going to I like you always say money. You're just yes. reminding everybody oh, that oh, money. Yeah. Come, come yeah. correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'll bring my hundred. So I'll bring Facts. my hundred as well. No. So every, every, every project I have undertaken have come with their challenges. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's so hard to, to say if this is the most. So <clears throat> Breath of Life was very challenging. And I'll tell you why yeah. I felt, you know. The, the I, I love a good challenge, but the challenge for Breath of Life was the pressure mm. of carrying that big film. Mm. That was the challenge I, I thought I thought um, I had for I had for me because I was filming almost every day. We had two units, mm. and sometimes I'm moving between units. Mm. And by the way, you, you people didn't see half of what we shot. By the way, a lot of scenes did not make it to the oh, final. Oh wow! Ooh, mad at scenes. Wow! I didn't make it. You know, so we're filming like I was. I was I was everywhere, and every day I wake up with that pressure, mm. you know, because this film starts with the voice of Elijah. Mm. He narrates the film from beginning, yeah. and it ends with his voice, mm. and you see him. So there was so much pressure, like I didn't want to ruin anything. Like mm. I hope I'm getting this right, you know. That was a, that was a, a challenge, but in terms of um, physical challenge and mental challenge, I'd give that to Choke. Mm. I'm Chris Ode where I had to be a cat dad and before then I had never touched a cat or got close to a cat so <laughs> I had to live with a cat in my house before mm. filming. You know cats are not dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need to like you. Yeah. So it was it was challenging having this cat to chill. Mm. You know, I remember losing the cat in my house the first day and I had to call the owner. Um, I don't see this cat again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> had to call him and call, and the cat was in my shoe, and I I played it. It was a cool self um, character, so I had to lose some mm. some weight. Oh. I had about two three weeks to do that, so oh. I wasn't eating for I was only eating once a day. Wow. And and running, and you know I, I the character had a scooter. I had to learn. They wanted to use the double because they said, oh you're going to wear wear an L, um an helmet. I said, I don't want anyone to see that double and say, that's not Chimese, mm. you know, in terms of the body, you yeah, know, you yeah. know, so let, let me learn how to ride a scooter. So I had, um, I had a scooter lesson. So it was physical, physically challenging for me because I did things that I didn't, I had never done or thought I could do. Mm. And it was, the character was very, um, uh, what's the word? Very, he was a very sad person, mm. you know, so I had to get into a place that was very risky, you know, so because you live with some part of a character when you, when you, Absolutely. when you, yeah, you live yeah. with some parts yeah. and yeah. it's crazy and you just hope it's the good parts that you live with, mm. you know, so yeah, 
So they, they were both, they've all been challenging. And for Nimbe, it was challenging because um, I wasn't supposed to be Nimbe. Mm. I auditioned to be Nimbe's friend, Ralph. Mm. We go to Ibadan where we filmed Nimbe and we're already filming Nimbe. Mm. And the director cuts the scene. And I'm seeing people running around, running around, running around, wondering what's going on now, what's going on. And Topa Lake, who, who, yeah, 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 no who's a great guy, yeah. by the way, yeah. calls me and said, um, Chimizi, I'm sorry, but I think you have to be Nimbe. Mm. And Ralph and Nimbe, they were totally different, you know. So I had about an, an hour, 30 minutes to go to hair and wardrobe, change, cut my hair, cut my beard, shave everything off, blah, 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 and be someone else. So mm. that, that was quite challenging for me. And I was happy that people thought it was, it was, it was okay. Mm, mm. So every, was, was. every, every character I think I've played have, have come with their own mm. um, challenge. Mm. Great, great. Good to know. Uh, so in, in, in the spirit of rounding off, um, what other pro uh, projects do you have coming up that you can talk about? Because I know right. you guys are very, uh, we don't talk about it until, mm -hmm. until this, until that. But which ones can you talk about? You talked about the one you produced right. that's going to the film festival. Yes. Yeah. Um, when, when is it going to the film festival? Um, it's um, July okay. 9th to 10th, mm. um, SS Film Festival. Um, it stars myself and Genevieve. Course. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I, I mean, I, I figured, I figured, <laughs> I just guessed, you know, it was, it was, it, was, it had to be, you know. <laughs> no, it's funny, we, 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 okay, we, we, okay, we did do Strawberry Chini after BOL, I think, I can't mm. remember, it's been a while, you know. Yeah, so that, 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 um, I, I'm working on something else. Okay. This working. is your own thing. Um, well, I'm working on something else. Your own thing. I, I don't know what. <laughs> I'm working on something else. We don't know about wood. It's, 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 it's how they tell you guys, don't... How do they tell you guys not to tell media everything? I mean, this, you, you sign an, an NDA. <laughs> not to say anything to you. It's the right uh, time to speak, you know, but... Uh, but yeah, but, but I think you said it's your thing. You're working on something, so I think... I'm working on something. I'm, that is yours. I'm an actor now. Yeah, yeah. I, work, I, work, I work as an actor, yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. But then, yeah, I have some other project that I filmed, you know, months ago, and I'm hoping mm. that, you know, they see the light of it. Because sometimes, mm. as actors, you could do films and they never come out, you know. Uh, yeah. So, so how long do you want to do this for? Um, I, mean, I, I always like for sorry. I always like to ask because I know that, like, like I said, um, back then it was acting on nothing for a lot of people. Yeah. Now there are a number of options. If you're not acting, you're still acting, but you have your side things right. you're doing. Yeah. You have businesses for yeah. the ladies. You yeah. have stuff for the guys. You have stuff. So that's why I'm asking. How long do you want to act for? I yeah. I want to act um, till every teeth in my mouth falls off. Wow. Okay. I think that's quite descriptive. Got it. <laughs> Got yeah, it. Got it's, it. We're here for the long, long mm. run. It's not. Mm. It's... I saw your, I saw your, I saw your interview on a news uh, platform where you mentioned that acting wasn't the first thing. You said acting at the age of six. Yes. You mentioned that. And um, you've, you've never, I mean, even your mom wasn't, I'm going to ask this, how do your folks now, how do they feel about what you're doing? At the early stage, I know they might yeah, not be. Yeah. But now they're seeing people, you're being recognized, you're being appreciated. Mm -hmm. The money is coming in. Yeah. How do they feel? I mean, they're very proud. They're very proud of me. They're mm -hmm. very proud. My mom sent me a message. My dad, my brothers, even my sister calls me from um, Canada where she's mm -hmm. residing. They're very proud of me. Um, um, they're proud. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't that way before. <laughs> you, yeah, know? Yeah. They, you know, they thought it wasn't sustainable. And I, I, totally, I totally understand their concern. Yeah. I think I can... can it sometimes feels unsustainable, mm. you know, probably is, you know, especially in this part of the world. Yeah. So I totally understood their concern, but I knew this was, this was what I really wanted to do. Mm. And I'm happy I'm doing it today. I'm proud of me. My friends are proud of me. Um, recently, the governor of Imo State, you know, sent a congratulatory message on um, his Instagram and Twitter. I was shocked. Yeah, he needs to do more. <laughs> I mean, sorry, you need to do, you need to do more. <laughs> Governor of Imo State, right. she is a Imo. I mean, not fully funded, <laughs> but do more, okay? Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So it just feels great to, you know, to have people, you know, root for you mm. and, and I'm happy. All right, great stuff. I, I think this has been a very good interview, but the last question I'm going to ask you is, I'm um, just going to put you on the spot a bit. You want to make a film, right? Yes. <laughs> no you want to make a film. You're going to pick four actors in your, in your clique. Right. In my clique. Yeah, yeah, in your era. If I use the word, or in this age, you know what I'm talking about. Four actors. Don't <laughs> you do want that, to make man. a film. 
Let's just, let's just, let's just. I mean, wrap. I, I don't know what the story is. Let's wrap. No, that's what I'm, I'll tell you. Don't worry. So, we're going there, right? You want to make a film, four actors, two leads, two leads, two male leads, and two female leads, right? Maybe one lead, one supporting, one whatever. But yeah, you want to make a film. And the film is about a guy who is trying to jump into the Millen. And he yeah. wants to jump. So this four friend is supposed to help him, to help him, support him to jump, and the other two tell him not to jump. What are you picking? And tell me the name of the film. Okay, first of all, the name of the film will be Jump. <laughs> jump, okay. <laughs> okay. I think Uzo Makanuno has to be one of them. Which role is she playing? Is she the one telling the, telling the guy to jump or? Not to jump. Not to jump, Uzo Maka, okay. Who's the other, uh, other guy telling, telling the guy to jump? I think Tommy Wa should tell me to jump. Tommy Wa Tigbe, tell me to jump. Wow, so that's the kind of friend Tommy Wa is. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, oh, this is, this is, okay. Just... Yeah, Uzo Maka telling you not to jump, Tommy Wa telling you to jump. So I need the lady that's telling you to not jump. To, to jump and a guy that's telling you not to jump. Ooh. I think I think I'd like to see what Onye would do with that. Mm. Mm. Who's Onye? Onye, um you don't know Onye. Oh just just mention the film. I, I think I'll Yeah, show show me a photo. Sh <laughs> show me a photo. I think I think I've been dying to work work with her. Oh, she's she's amazing. I'd like to see what, what she does with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I know her. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. She'll tell you not to jump. Udokoro, yeah. Onye Udokoro. Okay. I like, I think I like to see what she, what, what she would do with telling me to jump. Okay. So she has telling a very innocent jump. face. Mm -hmm. So I imagine that happening. Oh, uh, the irony. Okay. Yeah, the irony. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was the guy that's going to tell telling me not, not to jump. jump. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that's a tie. It's a tie. Between you. <laughs> Between Mike and Emeka. Ah, between Mike Fallon and Emeka, it's a tie. Mm. I would, I would. Now this is me, right? Yeah. What would you do as a producer? I, mm. I would easily pick Emeka. Right. I saw Emeka at your back when you were giving the yeah. award, and <laughs> yeah. man felt like he wasn't <laughs> the one getting the award, yeah. but he felt so like you've been waiting for it for a long time. Like you both talked about it the night before, and something like you mentioned. Then it made sense when you said, "But all of you started together, yeah. and it was good to see where you all are now." So nice. yeah. The film is called Jump. You're the one jumping. And these are the guys that you selected. Why didn't you select Genoveva? Why didn't I select Genoveva? Yeah. Why, why, um, why, why didn't you cast her in the why film? Why did I cast her? Of course she's going to be in the film. Yeah. But in that scene, yeah. probably not in that scene. Oh, okay. Yeah. Of course she's going to be in the film. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm, 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 I like to try, try I, I don't like to go for what people would think it's going to be. Right, right, you know, right, like, right yeah. What would this person do with this? You're a great actor. You've been stereotyped as the girl who always cries. Like, be the one to tell me to jump. Like, how would that play out? You know, yeah. Of you said we just, you said we just made a film. We've made a film. <laughs> what are we waiting for? <laughs> All right, guys, and that's a wrap. Thank you very much uh, for yeah. coming, Chimeze. Yeah. It was a very good interview. Loved it. Thank you. And yes, um, it's a wrap. Bye.